All right, so the dynamics occurring on matters of the TMT and the windmills. Um, major concerns are uh, it's cultural versus science. Uh, it's an, it might be an eyesore. Where else could it be built? Where else could the telescope be built if the, the people don't want it there? Why don't they want it there? Uh, because I, me, I think it would benefit tourism uh, in addition to uh, maybe you know there could be a payment made directly to the Hawaiian people for allowing it to be on their you know sacred place on up on the mountaintop there it's an incredible place if you you know if you've had the privilege to have gone there like I have you will see just the ultimate sunsets and feel the cold air and see the sky like you've never seen it see the whole Milky Way they have tours where they show people you know, um, they show people the stars with a, a laser and, you know, and, and through te little telescopes. They, they, you know, this is a special, you know, war global s situation here on, on top of this mountain, guys. But in any case, the bigger subject is actually what percentage of at, at blood are you, of Hawaiian blood? And, you know, I was thinking maybe... We could do a bulk cash, so that would, and then, and then, furthermore, no more special benefits if you're a Native Hawaiian. Same going with Native American. I want there to be an end to this sort of separation. Uh, it's it's like a privilege of I'm this and you're that, and I'm gonna, you know, fight for my rights, and it it just it just perpetuates the the discussion of what happened in the past, negative things that people have done to each other under the bias of, you know, my culture superior or my race is superior, all of that. We have to transcend that. And part of, obviously, part of transcending that is mixed ethnicity um, marriages and, and, and children. You know, we're, we're literally transcending the barriers, those barriers, but we have to do it in a in a legal fashion as well and the way we do that is like i said maybe bulk cash like 100 g's to somebody who's 10 percent 200 g's to somebody who's 20 percent you know um and as far as the homesteads are concerned both with the uh native american what are they called tribes uh the the the, the land they have Reservation. reservations um you know make it so that there's a waiting list where anyone can go on and it's you know, um, um, and another issue is um, regarding this idea of hotels or privilege. Um, um, the the I, I saw the text of the request for money lending. Please contact me on Facebook regarding that. Friend me on Facebook. All right, so the hotels, the privilege, you'll, you know, you'll have to confirm um, a stream of income and provide me some type of collateral, maybe some phone numbers of people that you care about, and then maybe I could lend you something. Uh, the windmills, same thing. It's an ar argument is it's an eyesore. The upside is it would reduce dependence on oil. Uh... But the bottom line is, guys, what we want to do is we want to prove to the world that people are good people. And the way to do that is where the victim takes responsibility. So the whatever it is, whoever's being subjugated to, to disrespected or discriminated, they need to say, you know what, I'm not going to expect the government or whatever you want to say, rich people, white people, any whatever people to take responsibility and deal with this, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do be an advocate for certain political issues. I'm gonna maybe even write some legal legal concepts and propose them. Um, you know, bottom line is, guys, there's it's it's a blend between capitalism and different affairs. And you know, if you actually take a look at these issues on the board, you'll see that. You know, what's the bottom line? The bottom line is if the TMT is not created or the um, or the windmills is not created, uh, the 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 concern, OK, guys, would be that. Guess what? You know, who's uh, who does it who does it hurt the most? I'd say it hurts the Hawaiian people the most because 
you know, that's income that that they could benefit from here in the Hawaiian Islands that other people may, you know, you know the Hawaii, you know, I don't know what the stat all I know is I believe in capitalism. I believe in, you know, people earning their way and opportunities and this is these are both opportunities for 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 monetary, you know, and if you want to live in a first world country, obviously nobody wants to actually live in they talk about sovereignty, but you know, people don't want to have a monarchy. That's oppressive, that's antiquated, that's animalistic, that's ugly. Okay, and we want to ha live in a world that at least is going in the direction of democracy and, and fair fair rights and you know egalitarian equality. You know, a monarchy is so far from that. So thanks for considering, guys, and I want to say aloha.